Thank you for joining. We'll go ahead and get things started here. We have JJ back with us. Happy to have her. Um, we'll go ahead and open it up to some questions. Holly, you can go ahead and go first. Hey there, Junquel. Welcome back. We missed you. Thank you. Good to be back. Tell me a little bit about your timeline when you returned to the U.S. and what your quarantine has been like. Um, just kind of take me through leading up to today. Um, I got back day before yesterday. Um, I got back like around like five, went to the hotel, um, got tested the next morning, and then I got tested this morning as well. So um, that's essentially been my quarantine the, the last two days. Um, now I'm ready to play. Um, have you had time to, to rest or is this going to be a tough turnaround? Just kind of where are you at physically and mentally? Um, I've had time to rest. I've actually slept pretty good, so I feel good. Um, jet lag kind of hits me later on at night, so um, you'll see how I feel. But I think once I, once I get warmed up and the game is going on, I think my adrenaline and everything else will be able to carry me. And I don't feel like worried about, you know, being too fatigued or too tired or anything like that. Okay. And sorry, just two more quick ones. I'm sorry to hog it, but it's for the game tonight. Um, no Tell, tell me about what you felt like you accomplished while you were at Eurobasket that you're that you're proud of. Um, well, we were able to win games that nobody else thought we would win. For one, um, we qualified for the Women's World Cup um, as a as a country for Bosnia for the first time. So we'll be in the qualifiers for it, not qualify for the World Cup, but in the qualifying tournament for the World Cup. Um, so that, but um, personally, just I just feel confident. Um, I just realized there's a lot of aspects of my game that I can take to the next level, like just being able to be more confident, um, taking the ball full court, transition, being able to create for other players, um, just being a leader on the court. A lot of things that I was already working on in the W, but um, I think I saw a lot of things come to fruition while I was over there. So just confidence wise, um, ball handling wise, and just being a closer and a finisher late in games. And then playing against Tina Charles, this is a fun matchup for those of us who like matchups. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be fun. Um, Tina is always, you know, a bucket getter. So um, we just have to find ways that we can disrupt her, um, not, not let her get too comfortable out there um, and understand that she's just, like I said, she's a bucket getter. So there's going to be times when you play good defense, but she's just going to make tougher shots. Just not, you know, not to get down on ourselves, but to understand that um, there's other ways that we can affect the game and um, other ways that we can be successful. But I'm excited for it. It's always fun when I play against her, when we play against her. Um, and I'm looking forward to it, honestly. Thank you. And thanks for everyone else being patient with me. Thank you very much. No problem. Thanks, Holly. Alexa, you can go next. Hey, JJ. Welcome back. It's great to see you. Um, just just kind of curious um, what it was like to, I'm sure you were keeping up with the team from afar when you were playing in Europe, but uh, what did you see when you were out there, especially this last week when they were finally able to pull together some wins? And also, um, what was it like to be with, you know, you go from your son team to your the Bosnian team. So tell us a little bit about just that group too and what it was like to play with them. Well, um, just watching them pull out the win. Um, the, the most recent game that we had, just I felt really good watching it. I felt that like we had good team camaraderie. Everybody was locked in. Um, there's a lot of good things for us that we can build on. Um, not going to lie, some of the other games I had to like kind of watch it after or, you know, watch highlights and stuff like that because of the time difference. Um, but just happy that we were able to, you know, get on the winning track now and um, that I'm back here to help the team win. Um, in terms of my Bosnian teammates, they were very lively, um, energetic, um, had a lot of good times off the court and on the court, just a lot of more teaching moments, um, just really trying to help them to see the game from a different perspective, kind of, and um, definitely made me miss my WNBA teammates a little bit too, though, but um, all together, just good people, and um, we were able to do a lot of things that, like I said before, people weren't expecting us to do, so um, it feels good to be able to say that. So I have to ask, how did the Mother of Dragons, uh, <laughs> Jones nickname come about? Um, so it happened after I broke the um, the rebounding record for, I guess, like the FIBA Eurobasket tournament when I had 24 rebounds in the game and I was the most. So I broke the record. Um, and I think underneath one of the comments that Eurobasket, underneath one of the posts that Eurobasket had, post, had posted, uh, one of the people was like, John Guazon's first of her name, break off records thing. And so that's where it came into play. And, and obviously our team is, the Bosnian national team is called like the Lady Dragon. So they call me like the mother of dragons. So that's where that came from. I think it's super cool. I love it because I love Game of Thrones. So um, it was amazing. So are we going to bring that nickname into your WNBA career too? Or is that going to just stick with the Bosnian play? 
And we just got to see how it goes. If people want to want to say it, they'll say it. But you know how nicknames go. It's more up to the announcers and um, everybody else watching the game. It's not really up to the players. So we'll just see how it goes. Gotcha. Thanks, JJ. <laughs> no problem. Charlotte? Hey, JJ. Welcome back. Kind of follow up to Alexa's question. How much were you able, I guess, to balance keeping up with and, and doing anything related to, to the sun versus uh, when you were uh, overseas or if you were able to hop on any calls or any film kind of thing, or was it strictly just watching games? Yeah, it was strictly just watching games. That was it. Um, like I said, the time difference didn't really allow for much. And then we were also playing a lot of games in a very short period of time at Eurobasket. So um, I was locked in over there, honestly and truly. So I'm um, just getting back in here. I got in some Zoom calls while I was in my, my quarantine and waiting to get tested. Got in Zoom calls with um, um, Brandy and Chris, the assistant coaches, just to get feel back in on everything, our game plan and what we had to do uh, to be successful in this game. And then just today in shoot around, just going over so many new plays and new sets that Kurt put in because it's it's been a lot since I've been gone. So just got to be patient with myself and understand that, you know, things might not be as smoothly as we want them to be, but um, our effort and our energy are things that we can ultimately control. What was that like getting back with your WNBA teammates today and shoot around? It was good. I saw a lot of them in the hotel, you know, just like leading up to, you know, leading up to the day. So it was good just to be able to be around them again and feel their energy, their love. And yeah, like I miss them. They miss me. So it's good. I'm excited to get back on the court with them. Jacqueline? Hey, JJ, welcome back. It's, it's good to see you. Um, just, you know, wanted to clarify. So were you in quarantine yesterday and was today the first time that you were able to, to be around your teammates? So I'm fully, I'm fully vaccinated. So I was, I was like, keeping my distance. I wasn't allowed to do like team practices and stuff like that, but um, I got tested the first, I got tested two days ago and then I got tested yesterday and today, sorry. And so like today was like my first official team thing that I was able to do. So like I kind of, you know, went down to the hotel to get some food and stuff like that, but it wasn't like a like a strict quarantine, like, you know, with someone that wouldn't be vaccinated. Got it. Um, you know, and just the process of going from different teams, you know, I know that's uh, fairly common with, with the WNBA. Um, just, you know, what does it take to get readjusted to different team systems, especially as you're kind of thrown back in them, um, you know, pretty quickly, you know, going from UMMC to coming to the WNBA and only having that one day of training camp before the season start and um, even going to Bosnia, you know, it seemed like you acclimated pretty quickly. So just, you know, what is what does that take? And, you know, how do you kind of expect your re-entrance into the sun to go um I feel like it's harder off the court like it's it's harder off the court like mentally just to be going all the time and you know I don't want to get too mushy or anything like that but you know as a professional athlete this life is is very lonely and so sometimes you kind of get yourself you kind of get down mentally and you have to you know just lean on your family members thank God for technology I don't know how all the old heads who played basketball back in the day I don't know how they did it like just not being able to really contact their family or like get on the phone and do zoom calls or regular FaceTime calls because this stuff literally saves me like um so I think that's the hardest part I think it makes basketball super easy for me because when I get on the court I'm doing something that I love I'm zoned in I'm focusing on you know what I need to be able to help my team win um and so I feel like basketball just is is like a breath of fresh air compared to everything else because it's so tough mentally and when you've done it for so many years it kind of gets it gets really draining so you got to find other ways to really just get your mind right. So I think that's probably why I play so good. Because when I get on the court, it's just like, this is it. You know, this is what I'm here for. This is what I love to do. This is like, you know, my thing to get away from everything else. So the hardest part is definitely off the court acclimation, and just being away from your family and losing your independence a lot too when you go overseas. You don't really know the language. So it's tough. Thanks for that, JJ. And uh, I just have one more question. I'm curious, you know, just what are, are there any similarities between how your Bosnian team played and how um, the Sun play and kind of just what are the, the similarities and differences between those two teams for you? Uh, I would say there are, I'd say the only similarity is just like an emphasis to, you know, just get me the ball in places where I can be successful. Otherwise, zero similarities, <laughs> like not even close, but um, you know, like I said, we were able to win games, so I'm not trying to make it sound like it's crazy over there or anything like that, but um, I definitely miss my WNBA team. That's what I will say. Cool. Thanks, JJ. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Thanks, JJ. You're all set. All right. Thank you.
All right, we'll get started. Please raise your hands and I'll call on you. Charlotte? Hey, Janay, nice to see you again. What's it mean for you guys to have JJ back and what was that like getting to kind of see her for the first time and, and knowing she'll be on, on the bench tonight to play for you guys? It was so good to have her back. Um, I like stood outside the locker room, or not the locker room, the film room and like hid waiting for her to jump on her. But like, it's just her energy and her, obviously her skill and her talent, but just even seeing her in shoot around just the things that she could do it's just like it's gonna take our team back to that next level that we were at before so I'm so excited to have her back and I know the whole team is Holly I'm just kind of wondering this is our first game covering you so forgive me if this is a late question but how do you feel like you're adapting to the WNBA game um I think it's a process and as everybody knows who's been a rookie, it's ups and downs. But I think the one thing that has remained constant for me is just always having a good attitude and being encouraging and just going hard. Um, you know, I never know when they're going to call my number or call my name, but it doesn't really matter um, because I know that they have confidence in me and I know that when they see fit, they're going to put me on the court. But when I'm not on there, I just need to continue to encourage and be um, the best teammate that I could be. So I think that that's just been what I've been trying to do um as far as on the court I think it's just trying to adjust to the multiple levels of reading the defense um I've been talking a lot with mainly our point guards uh Jazz, Bree January, um even DB just AT about just reading the defense and looking at the second level so that's been the biggest thing. Jacqueline? Hi, Dijanae. Um, I'm just curious, you know, what is the game plan heading into tonight, into tonight? And how do you guys prepare for, um, you know, a team like Washington that has someone like Tina Charles, but um, at the moment, they're also pretty um, shorthanded because of injuries and mm -hmm. things like that. Yeah, I mean, you know, Tina is amazing. Um, last time we played them, she had 29 and she's been on a tear all season. So we know that she's going to get her buckets. She's going to make tough contested shots, no matter how good the defense is. But um, I have confidence and our team has confidence in the posts who are going to be matched up with her. And we have confidence in our game plan. Um, like you said, their numbers are a little low right now. So hopefully get out and run and, you know, just make them play our tempo. But we're going to just stick to the game plan. We played them already. And, you know, uh, we're going to stick to that. Cool. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Dijanae.